Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. Yesterday, I built a new dashboard um, off of uh, my transaction table, trying to really understand all of my transactions. Um, you know, beforehand, I was just uh, using the mint, the transaction table just to uh, study spend, but there's more in that table than just spend. There's there's investment related information. There's there's transfers. There's uh, income there's credit card rewards there's credit card payments and uh i built a dashboard uh you know really just to um understand all that information let me share my screen and i'll show it off to you all right here's this new dashboard that i i'm calling movement um you know just to understand the money movement and uh, um you know at the top um the, the first set of kpis is the sum of the amount um, by uh, you know the the main category of of what a transaction is, whether it's income, whether it's spend, a credit card payment, just a simple transfer, taxes, or is is it investments? And then the second tier of KPIs uh, looks at the sum of the amount by um, by account, whether it be checking, savings, retirement, investment, HSA, or credit card amount. So what is the amount? Um, the amount is just the sum of everything um, in that bucket. Um, so for income, I made $8,622 in the month of May. I spent $13,000. Um, I paid $11,000 towards credit cards. Um, so that makes sense. and. Um, you know, if you sum up these six KPIs, you're going to get uh, 2,892. That's the net difference of, of the amount. So, uh, you know, basically, um, overall money movement um, in total, uh, $2,892 went into my account. So I net positive of $2,892. Um, and, uh, you know, you see it twice because the sum of both of these uh, rows of KPIs equals the same number, uh, the net amount. This matrix uh, looks at the money movement uh, a little bit deeper, um, looking at every single uh, uh, different account and showing how the money moved across each account. So for instance, you know, my Bank of America checking account, that's where my income goes. And uh, $8,488 went, went into that account as income. Um, I do pay, you know, some things off of my Bank of America checking, such as my mortgage and my uh, utilities. So I spent four thousand three hundred sixty-one um, for credit card payments. Uh, one thousand one hundred and four dollars went in, uh, paid off credit cards, um, and uh, I transferred out seven thousand uh, dollars to other accounts from this account. Um, so that's basically what reading this uh, Bank of America checking account and in total for the month of May, um, the Bank of America checking account lost $4,000. So it's 4000 less than what it was um, in the beginning. Going to this chart over here, we look at um, the sum of the amount by main category. And it does have drill, in feature, drill down features. So if I double click into income, it drills into the checking the accounts, my checking accounts, showing the net amount um, by that. If I you know drill into spend, it shows all my uh, everywhere where money was spent, and showing the amount that was spent. So everything is drilled through. Everything, uh, all these uh, charts are are uh, clickable to drill through. You just have to click this. Uh, you know, drill down button. So if I want to look at some of the amount by checking account, I can do that again just by double clicking into it. Um, here, here's the sum of the amount by day. Um, and here's a, a Gantt chart showing the same thing, just, you know, cumulative total and everything's clickable too. So if I would just want to click into this day, I first have to click that button. And now I see, you know, just looking at day one of May, all the money movement um, on day one. 
So yeah, everything's clickable on this dashboard. Um, everything's built off of the same fact table. So it's everything's cross filterable. Here's just a net uh, overall transaction table. So every single transaction that take place in the month of May, this is very nice to look at for me just for validation, just to make sure that every transaction is categorized, categorized correctly. So I really like this. This is just every single transaction, not just spend, but the transfers, the investments, the income, the credit card payments, every, every single transaction that took place in personal capital is in here. So yeah, this is this money movement dashboard I, I built just to understand how money has been moving. I can look at the current month, which isn't full, but it still makes sense, you know, in total. Um, I've so far lost four thousand seven hundred seventy-four dollars. Um, you know, I haven't gotten paid yet, but I've you know paid my mortgage this month um, and a little bit on my credit card. Um, you know, this bottom table just shows every single spend category um, and where the money's moving. Moving. So yeah, I, I hope to learn more about my transactions off of uh, this dashboard. I really. I've gotten a good handle on um, you know, what this uh, personal capital transaction table brings to the table and uh, you know, just a better understanding of my money. So that's that. Um, thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye.